What is poppin people? You already know me. It's MSD and today I made a little team um, that I realized like I'm gonna drop in uh, points here in a bit because uh, <laughs> um, I'm stupid and uh, I misread one of the items on my Pokemon. Um, so basically what happened is uh, this team kind of revolves around um, like stopping any like stat drops and you know screens and then setting up our own screens if possible um and the darmanitan was a very big key factor in uh the like i actually just recorded and then i realized like something's wrong here um <laughs> what was wrong was i gave it a choice uh band instead of a choice scarf so like i should have won both games and for whatever stupid reason i didn't Oh, I'm the stupid reason, basically. <laughs> uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um. Cool. So 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 so. Um. Not really digging Incineroar in the lead. Not gonna lie. But 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 there is a nice alternative here. Um. Rillaboom can definitely shut that down right away. Rillaboom can do the most in that situation. Um. They don't really have a good trick room mode to set up with, but um, Rillaboom, I want to say, I don't really have an answer for Darmanitan though, that's kind of my problem. Um, maybe Corviknight and then, I feel like I bring Lapras and Gastrodon in the back, right? Like that's just what makes the most sense. And the hope that our Lapras outspeeds their Lapras. Because Gastrodon also kind of shuts down um, their Milotic. Which they probably don't even bring. If I was them, I'd bring the bottom four Pokemon that they have. But you know what? If I was them, and they were me... Nah, 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 nah. We, we don't let that happen. We don't do that here. Alright? Link, Link, let me tell you something, alright, buddy? Oh, that, wow, I messed that up. I was trying to look cool. <laughs> Link, let me tell you a little something, all right? All right. So, you're going to die. You're going to lose, buddy. Definitely going to lose. Going to eat it. Um, hmm. So, I guess my question is, how do I go about this? Um... Can definitely go for um, like a fake out here onto Conkleder. Um I could probably Dynamax here as well. Um, how much does Dynamax Wind Rage do? Oh, that's that's dope actually. I could definitely do that. I really hope that Wind Rage gets rid of. Um, Gets rid of um, Aurora Veal. That's kind of like the best case scenario. God, that shiny is so dope, man. Where's all the little birds? That's what I like. Seeing the little ones. Is it not really a thing with Dynamax? Alright, alright. So, uh, they definitely Dynamax Lapras here. That's totally the thing. Big read. Big read. Hopefully. I really want to get Conkleder out of here, though. That's a, that's a big thing I need to do right now. Big, big thing. So, I think they mock punched themselves here. For, like, a weakness policy boost. Oh, man, we didn't knock out. That's unfortunate. Resonance comes through. Kind of expected. Rillaboom eats it. Oh my god, he he's a champ. What a boss. What a boss. Mm, give me the pussy boss. Conkleder flinches and the flame orb comes through. Okay, okay, okay. So Rillaboom can actually get knocked out here. And that's a big problem. We don't want that.
All right, let's see what we can do. Uh, they go for the mock punch onto. Yep, and he does fall, which is unfortunate. Uh, I think uh, guts boost probably mattered there. Aurora Veal does wear off. That's nice. That's nice. And the lightning does nothing. Hey, let's go. Cool. So, let's go for the best possible option here. And Lapras. Go for a nice quick Ice Shard onto Conkleder. Um, oh shit. They're slower, so they actually kind of have the advantage here. I can definitely max guard. There's no way they... Right? Well, hold up. Um, does it tell me what turn this is? How many turns have happened? Alright, well, I can guess... Oh, I definitely max guard. You know what? That's probably the best option. So they can resonance onto um, Corviknight to set it up again. That's kind of the only defense I have here. Hey! Alright, good. I gotta say, the little birds that come out, super dope. Alright, so they don't set up another resonance. Super good, super good. I love it. Alright, Incineroar comes off, and that's also super good. Because Intimidate goes right back on to him and Lapras. Lapras really uh, doesn't care for Intimidate. But, you know what? They're gonna care. Definitely gonna care. So, Sparkling Ari, I really don't want to heal up on uh, Lapras. It actually put me in a tough spot here. Um, I think I Life Do here. And go for a nice old Body Press. I could probably bulk up too. Do I bulk up? But yeah, do I roost? Yeah, I think I roost, right? Let's go for that. So they fake out into Lapras. Alright. Go for a nice little roost here. Heal up some. Good stuff, good stuff. And they go for Thunderbolts. Onto Corviknight. Not bad, not bad. Um... So here, I'm actually going to switch out into Gastrodon. Gastrodon's a good switch here. Um, knowing how much that did, that Thunderbolt, I think I can go for a bulk up here successfully. Um, I think that puts me in a nice spot. Oh, there's an alarm. Flare Blitz comes through. Alright, going for the bulk up. Alright. Knowing that they were faster than me is actually a huge problem. Thunderbolt comes off. Does that knock me out? Yeah, that knocks me out. Okay. So, bad play. <laughs> Hell no. Okay. Um... But now in Cineroar, you're you're left with a a fun little position here. Uh, let's also go for freeze dry onto that Lapras. They go for the parting shot. Uh, that's fine, I think. Not really worried about that. 
So they go into... Togekiss, okay. They go for... Oh, I go for Freeze Dry. Connects. Uh, doesn't do enough. The Thunderbolt comes off, and that's probably gonna do a good chunk. Uh, we activate our berry. And Earth Power connects. Electricity disappears. Um, yeah, no, that Earth Power definitely, uh, it's actually looking like it's doing some problems now. So, the alternative is we stockpile here and go for likely a freeze dry onto Togekiss. Unless they're just trying to, uh, yeah, I don't know what Togekiss does here. Could do like some flinch stuff. Let's go for a life do. Life do, um, We'll boost that uh, special attack here. Alright, they're going for flinches. That's what they're doing. Oh, they crit. Alright, Thunderbolt comes off. Alright, Lapras has to hang in there. Life do. Storm Dream activates, giving a special attack boost. And, a We're up to half. Stockpile's nice and beefy. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Alright, so this is going to be a very stally match in the long run. Looks like it. Um, just going for another stockpile here is probably the best option. Another life do would be dope. Gasoline Gleam comes off. Well, they don't have freeze dry. They kind of told us that now. Because they keep going for Thunderbolts here. Oh! We live in, baby. Oh, shoot. Okay. That's kind of bad. We do need the stockpile to come off. Stockpile 2. Defense Rose. Special Defense Rose. Life do. Alright. This is a, a nice little strategy I found out some time ago. But except I think I was using Clefairy. Alright. Good, 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 good. Alright. Doing just a bit more here. I think we can safely go for another stockpile here. Uh, and then I do want to just... Uh, I don't know if I want to Ice Shard. That's the problem. I think I'll just Ice Shard the Lapras. No, you know, I like to just in case. Just in case. Dazzling Gleam. A crit on Gastrodon. That's huge. That's really big. So unless they went for a nice move. No, Thunderbolt not affecting us. That's fine. And then we get another stockpile. Alright, so we gotta make sure we don't get crit, at least. That's like, kind of our last win condition here. Don't get crit. Alright, that took a while, actually. I don't know. Did, maybe they disconnected or something. Uh, I guess not. Um, recover here. We have to recover in order to survive. Um, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I didn't think that's how this was going to go. Wow, they get another crit! Jesus. God. They won by crits. <laughs> that's a shame. I hate when I have to play for so long in one match, and it just falls apart at the end. Like, come on, come on. You really gonna do that to me? You really gonna do that to me? Alright, continue battling, please. Let's go for another one. Um. The champion. God, okay. Yeah, I need to stop playing with these joke teams, because look at my win loss. It's really bad. <laughs> But you know what? I'm uh, I'm improving my champion team right now. Actually, um, none of the Pokemon. Well, the Pokemon are changing for better variants. Like I think uh, Lightning Rod Pikachu is way better. Um, pair that with like a Discharge or something. Like it's looking kind of nice right now. But um, 
aside of that, there's a uh, Charizard. Uh, it's a solar powered Charizard now, and uh, it doesn't have the best IVs yet, but <sighs> getting those levels up is such a chore, man. Like, it really is. Alright. Come on, we're looking for a trainer. Find us someone. That's what happens, right? Like, you're you're this far into the month and you're not finding people. And you gotta fucking uh, get to Master Ball to get matches, like, right away. Dewey, rank 9. Hey, from Malcolm in the Middle? Alright, alright. Sun Team, through and through. Um, But how do I change that? How do I, Mr. Swords Dance, change the Sun Team? Guess going uh, Rillaboom and uh, Darmanitan, possibly? Hmm. That might be my only option. Um, Torkoal's definitely in the lead here. They can Dynamax right away too. That's the problem. Um, Gastrodon has to come on the team, like for sure. And then there's no way I bring Corviknight. Right, yeah, Gastrodon. Um, I really don't want to bring Lapras, but I think that I don't really have another choice. Alright, so. Um, the hard part here is, how do I get the KO? <laughs> um, Venusaur is a bit too bulky for me. Um, Alright, so the lead Torkoal and Perserker, which is actually really nice. Because this way I can set up for a couple things. Uh, first and foremost, I gotta make sure I fake out that Perserker. Um, and then I can definitely go for like a max Rockfall onto uh, Torkoal. Yeah, I think that's probably my best option here. Um, Perserker, do you Dynamax? I actually don't know anything about Perserker other than it has a really good ability. Um, Perserker. It has the ability of uh, Steely Spirit. So, Steel moves get a huge boost. Um, <laughs> base speed of 50 though. It's very slow, very slow. So I think we make a good turn one here. Max Rockfall comes through. And does over half, which is probably the best solution there. So Eruption comes through, doesn't do too much. Thank goodness. Physical defense is pretty high at, at uh, 100. Uh, I guess it's really like what I want to go for here, right? I think uh, they probably want to save Torkoal if they have all those fire types in the back. So I can't go for my fire moves though. That's the that's the worst part. So I could probably go for a nice knockoff on that target and then go for like a max quake onto Perserker. That's probably my best move. Perserker does not fall. That's so unfortunate. But uh, our special defense rises, which is nice. 
and knockoff comes through. Damn! Okay, so <laughs> U-turn comes through. Rillaboom falls. That's unfortunate. But you know, base 110 attack, that's really good for him. I would definitely give that thing like an assault vest. Um yeah, they get knocked out. Due to themselves. And here we go with a nice, nice, nice. KO on Torkoal. So, I guess it's like, what do they bring here? And they bring out Venusaur. Super dope. And Chandelure. All right. Um. So. I think I definitely want to go for. I want to double up on Venusaur, most likely. Um. Chandler probably outspeeds us, which is a problem. Especially if it's Scarf. Well, you know what? They have to go for like Sunny Day or something, right? I don't have a way of flinching them, which is unfortunate. Max Hailstorm comes off. Pretty much exactly what I needed here. And, uh, yeah, pretty much as long as Lapras can go this turn, should be fine. Heat Wave connects, knocks out their Manton, that's unfortunate. And I will hopefully see a KO onto. Oh, no, 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 that's knocking out. Oh, it's not! Actually, it's down to 69, and it procs a big old berry for us. Special defense rises on both Pokemon, which, again, is unfortunate. But, I think uh, we definitely get the KO next turn. I think we for sure get the KO next turn. Freeze Dry actually gets the knockout now, which is super dope. Super dope, super dope. Hey, Let's get it, let's get it. Good moves here, good moves. Um, Chandelure gets hurt a little bit. That probably breaks Sash, which, again, I'm super okay with. Let's go. Gastrodon comes out. And they are looking pretty bad right now, if I do say so myself. So Sparkling Aria, because why wouldn't I? And then going for a Scald, because of course... Uh, Chandelure used to carry Energy Ball back in the day, I think. So I wonder if that's going to apply here. Oh, they disconnected. Oh, I hit him with a disconnect, baby. Ah, man. I haven't had one of those in a while. I haven't had one of those in a while. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. Um, just a, a quick little update. Uh, I'm still doing my running. Uh, for, you know, for that fitlock, thank you guys for the support. 45 views is insane to me, bro. Like, I haven't had that many views on the video in such a long time. Since fighting Smeargle days, man. Back when I used to get hundreds of views, man. What a time. What a time. But thank you guys for the support. Appreciate every single one of you. 200 June. Let's go, baby. Let's do it.